what's up youtube welcome back to my channel this is your girl misha calhoun and on this channel you're learning about entrepreneurship personal finance personal development ways to become your own boss lifestyle and more on today's video we are highlighting one of my businesses which is calhoun sweet treats be sure to check out my website at cstsupplyshop.com and follow me on all social media outlets now let's get into the video this is a highly requested video on how I dip my chocolate covered strawberries. As you can see, I've already pre-washed my berries and I've already gotten them ready for the video. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you pre-wash your berries, dry them and place a toothpick inside. The toothpick will allow for easy pickup as you're dipping the berries into the chocolate. Be sure to wash your hands and remember to always have on a clean pair of gloves to to operate and to handle um, your food with care. We're gonna start out with two different candy milks, one a dark pink and a light pink. I needed this for a particular order that didn't have the pink that I needed, so I mixed the two colors. And then we're gonna use the candy coating from Kroger. Um, we're gonna use that white to help smooth out our chocolate. So we're gonna go ahead and put the chocolate into the microwave and we're gonna melt our candy melts first. And when I melt my candy melts, I usually put it in the microwave for 30 second interval. So now that it's out the microwave, you'll need to mix it really hard so that the heat can flow evenly through your candy melts. You don't want to overheat your candy melts. So two times should be enough. 30 seconds the first time, and then another 30 seconds for the second time. And then mix really hard so that your candy melts can get the heat from the glass or from the plastic, whichever kind of container you're using. Um, the sides should warm it up so that it can melt evenly. So you'll continue to mix so that your consistency is good. As you can see, um, that's the consistency that you want your candy melts to be, as I'm showing in the video. So now it's time for you to get ready to add your white candy coating. And the white candy coating is basically um, what we would call in the treat world white chocolate. Um, it can be used interchangeably. It's really vanilla candy coating, but a lot of people prefer that over um, using actual white chocolate. And it's easier to manipulate if you use the candy coating. So go ahead and put that in your container with your candy milks and put that in the microwave for 30 seconds and then you're going to mix after that 30 seconds so as you can see i added that amount of white candy coating you don't have to put that much but that's just what i needed since i had a a lot of berries to dip and i didn't want to have to do it over i wanted the same color for all of my berries so that's the amount of, of candy coating that i put in then like i said you're gonna wait for 30 seconds in the microwave and once you get it out the microwave you're going to mix it and it's going to be this consistency as you can see in the video you need your chocolate to be very smooth you want to test it as i'm picking up the spoon and letting it flow off of my spoon. You want it to be a consistent flow. You don't want it chunky. You don't want it where it's stiff to move and it's not flowing. So be sure to do that. So now it's time to dip and you're going to place your strawberry into your, into your chocolate and you're gonna slightly tap the edges so that the excess chocolate can fall off and then you're gonna brush it across the edge so that you know, you can have a clean slate when you place it onto the cooking sheet. And you're gonna just repeat this step for each berry until you get, you know, the hang of it. Just make sure you tap, dip first, tap, and then wipe it off the edge slightly. Don't wipe it off the edge completely, just slightly, because you still want chocolate to be at the bottom of your strawberry.
Now that we're all done with dipping our berries, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator and then we're going to use our excess chocolate to create a slight drizzle onto our berries. I always drizzle my berries. So it's similar to a double coating of chocolate versus me double dipping. Um, I dip once and then I drizzle chocolate on top. So that's just my thing. Um, I prefer the, the look of a dip berry with a drizzle on top. That's just my preference. You can do your berries however you want them, but that's just what I prefer. So now it's time for you to get your materials together so that you can create the drizzle on your berries. You'll start off needing a pair of scissors. You can use a small pair of scissors. It doesn't matter as long as it's something that you can use to cut. And then I'm gonna show you all a treat hack. People think that I use fancy equipment to make my drizzle, but it's really just the small size snack bags from Ziploc. It can be off brand, it doesn't have to be um, Ziploc brand, it can be any little small snack size bag. So then you're going to mix your chocolate and you're going to pour it into the snack size bag so that you can put all of your chocolate towards the corner of the bag and you're going to cut it at the very bottom, a slight hole so that you can create the drizzle. You don't need to create a big, large hole because that's going to make your drizzle come out um, chunky and it's going to run. You need a slight hole, something very small and minute so that you can create your drizzle. At this point, just watch me demonstrate on how you will need to cut your bag. I moved away from the camera because I didn't want the plastic falling onto the berries once I cut it, but you will see just how small the hole is once I come back into the camera view. Before you start your drizzle, you will also need to test out the bag to make sure that your chocolate is flowing through evenly. You don't want any hiccups through your chocolate. So test that first and then you can begin drizzling. pretty much all about a steady hand and an even flow of chocolate. As long as you have those two, your chocolate will come out consistently on your berries. And even if you mess up, you can easily wipe it away as quickly as you can before it dries and then restart your drizzle. If you notice, I pinched the end of the bag. There was a piece of chocolate um, that hadn't melted good enough and it got caught into the bag so therefore I had to pull it out. So if that happens just keep, just tug on it a little bit until it comes out and then just get back to drizzling your berries. <laughs> 